with your ample sufficiency, your abundance. God, I want to help you work on the new things that you are creating. And I want you to know how much we admire the maintenance of those things you have created. You look at the sun, you never look out at the sky and see a red ball fall on the earth and that's the end of the sun and it doesn't come up to the next morning. When the earth rolls around, there's no sun. No, the earth rolls around and every morning there is that beautiful sun. And lately tonight, on these particular days, it's the full moon which reflects the grand light from the sun. Not only is your maintenance a wonder, but we want to help you, God, on the new things that you are creating. Amen. Often I say to God, what do you plan to do today, God? What are you working on today? Is it part of a bigger plan? And how is it coming? And I look forward to whatever you are creating. Concepts, God's designs, God's execution. And people bumble around and they finally find out how to put together things like circuit boards and solid state. And they get down to the stores where we can go in and we are giving the wherewithal to buy them. The spectacular It was dark. I'm happy to be released. They just ask for something. Do better, okay? May. And keep you, and may his face Amen. So be it. So
5 a.m. The big orange ball.
Thank you, God. It's there every morning for us. You never let us down. Last night's menu for the raccoons and I think it's skunks. Let's see, I put out five dishes because there's the mother raccoon and her four children. And I saw one, I don't know which one it was, but that raccoon is roly-poly. And he worked hard on his dish here at the bottom of the step and he didn't touch the other dishes. He just finished his dish and when he was through his dish he went into the woods. Now what did I feed him last night? Oh yes. Potato. Raw potato that I cut up into pieces and sautéed and onions with it. It was a whole big square fry pan full and it made five bountiful dishes <laughs> and you can see each dish is licked clean let's see one two three four five and then this was left over from the senior citizens in Claremont southern Dutchess, uh, yeah, Southern Columbia County. And that's Lick Clean. What are we going to have for them tonight? Well, we, I'll cook them some macaroni, and I'll put a can of tomato soup in it, and I'll put a can of string beans in it. Good morning, Caesar. There's nothing left for the Caesar dog, but guess what? I got you yesterday. Vegetarian dog biscuits. I'll go get you one, Caesar. Yes, I'll go get you one. You're the biggest animal I feed. So, what was I saying? For their menu? Uh, the macaroni. Boil it and put tomato soup in it. And then I think string beans. Raccoons previously were not, but lately they are. And crackers. Now I'll put crackers on top of it. And a scoop of peanut butter in each dish. Oh yeah, they had a scoop of peanut butter last night in each dish and crackers on top of it. And there's not a crumb left. Now if you have wild animals come into your yard and if you think they're causing destructive destruction or hurting your bird feeders just give them peanut butter sandwiches they'll eat their peanut butter sandwiches go in the woods and not come back they're only hungry you know how it is to be hungry or maybe you don't two cannibals were eating a clown and one said to the other does this food taste funny to you two old messages Wednesday 12.25 p.m. Hi, this is Linda Mushman. I'm returning your call. My cell phone is 518-209-7966. I uh, would like to know more about your show and would and definitely would have some kids who would love to talk about TSL. Give me a call, 518-209-7966. Thanks. This is Magic Jack. Wednesday, 2.56 p.m. Glendora, this is Jack George at Time Warner Cable, returning your call. <laughs> he doesn't sound well, does it? 695-7064. Thanks. End of messages. This is what you call a kitty cat. One.
cool. Mary Ramage will love this. Oh, you did want your grass, didn't you? Let me get a little more light on you. Oh, a kitty cat. Mary Ramage will love this. Oh, you did want your grass, didn't you? Let me get a little more light on you. She purrs all the time she does this. You open... She opens her mouth and you can hear her purr. Let's get some light on you, honey. She even got off of her front feet. Okay. Now where's the last one? Here's the last one. Now let's make this a good one. That was six. He wanted more? Here's one, fell on the floor. Let's see. Gotta hold it just right. It's kind of a big one. a big one. You ate it all? Are there any more? My friend Hattie likes to get an early start. So this is the month shopping. The first Friday of the month. This is the new Walmart in Hudson, Greenport, New York. Columbia County. I've seen one person already leave with a cart full. <laughs> That's what you call getting it done early. North Street in Pittsburgh. So yesterday was Walmart day and Hattie drove into the drive, into the yard here, and we had grocery bags, 30 of them, strung in a single file, all the way from the 1980 Lincoln up to the front door. These are the uh, cloth bags. The, every one was full. And these are the plastic bags. Now this product that I think uh, Cheryl gave me at the Christian Center, which is delicious. Are you able to read the uh, the ingredients? It is everything you need for veg as a vegetarian or a vegan but I went there and got not a big one they didn't have them Walmart doesn't carry it
price chopper does. I guess I'll have to start making my own in my blender. This is really too expensive. Well, anyway. Well, the little bottle of that superfood that I bought was about $4. And it was half that size that I just showed you. So that's way too expensive. We'll just have to do this in our own blender. And it's in the refrigerator and that's covered with 10 pounds of flour and the rubbish bags and orange marmalade and uh, something else. But what I was doing, these are the last of the bags to put away. This is number 23 and number 24. And then we have to wash all the vegetables and wash the dishes and these are the boxes that go in a box these are the bags that go in another bag that's how I sort my groceries and, and these are the cans that go up there Raccoons ate very, very well last night. They had uh, Chinese vegetarian uh, egg roll. They had cream horns. Uh, there were a couple other things. But you can see all five dishes are lit clean. I don't know if it's uh, raccoons or possums or skunks. But I know somebody out there is hungry. And I feel a lot better feeding them. And one morning I saw a big, big roly-poly raccoon. I don't know whether it was Rachel or one of her children, but he was on the bottom stoop, and he cleaned up his dish. And there were other dishes around him. Did I say one morning? No, this was at night sometime. There were other dishes around him for the other animals, but he didn't touch them. And when he finished up his dish... On the bottom stoop, he just went right back into the woods. Okay. Dirty aerosol report. The sun this morning, the rise was spectacular. God, you never let us down. And right here in this area, you can see a vestige of it. A vest of vestige. Uh, there were five crosses. Uh, five streaks making a cross making an X and done over again. There's one of them over there. You can see it. Okay, so the blue sky preserver took care of that in a big hurry. Those are gone. Hi, little birdie. You coming down to eat? Yes, you've got things over there that you eat. That's good. And uh, it's blown in from northeast to southeast, but the blue sky preserver is after it. And I feel, or I predict, I shouldn't predict, but I think it's going to win, as always. The warden says, Harry, you must be lonesome in here. You don't have any friends or relatives to come to see you. And Harry says, oh no, warden. <coughs> Excuse me, folks, it's nothing to sneeze at. And Harry says, no, no, Warden. He says, they're all in here with me. Devin McConnell, 16 years old, was here last night. And he handed in the first, eight t uh, the first 10 TV stations for a December, a November events to be cable cast in December. And he handed those in. And it shows 1, 2, 3, and 4, and TV state 10. I've got a very good start on the ones that Devin can't do because they're VHS. And further, Devin received from Glendora TV stations 9, excuse me, 11 through 20, shows 6, 7, 8, 9. No, that's wrong. Shows 5, 6, 7, 8. 
and he got the labels, the address labels for them, and the dates for them. And then Devin McConnell, 16 years old, received from Glendora TV stations, 21 to 30, with shows 9, 10, 11, 12. Then Devin got a new assignment. He first heard about quads. Glendora has 11 TV stations that will play a two-hour show in addition to the half-hour show. A two-hour show is four half-hour shows. So he received uh, TV stations 31 to 41. Uh, sh quads 1, 2, 3, 4. That would be the first week. And quad 2, which would be the second week, 5, 6, 7, 8. Of which he is going to make 11 dubs on DVD. I bought a uh, DVD player that goes into a computer and the computer makes the shows but one by one. His mother works for the post office and posted all of the uh, October sh events to be cable cast in this month of November. She was able to send out many of them for 98 cents. That is what a 98 cent stamp looks like. It was an eventful day. It was a day of blessings. I think 40 or 50 blessings. Not counting the daily blessings, but just 40 or 50. One time only that day blessings. Thank you God. And had he cashed the checks. We won't bank the checks anymore because the bank has taken out $260 for their own use. So no more bank. Jim Storms uh, remembers watching the SS Glendora on Satellite 6 50 years ago when he was a little boy. And he's the one who set up Glendora's visit to the senior citizens for their November meeting and we told jokes. Last summer I was taking care of the mail for my neighbor and he was missing his bank statement. This was in July and he asked me if I had it and I said no I didn't. He said are you sure? And I said I'm sure. He says, did it get mixed in with some of your other things? And I said, the other things have all been taken care of. It did not. But yesterday, at the bottom of a crate, I found his July bank statement. And I handed it to him, and I said, you were right. I was wrong. I am sorry. And I'll never do it again. And he was very moved, touched. What is one? One with a circle around it. One is oneness with God. What's that mean? It means you stand by with your thought. It's the same as counting blessings and counting pure thoughts. It's the same as saying, God, what can I do to help you? It's the same as saying, God, what are you doing today? And what are you working on today? It's the same as singing hymns, as saying prayers. What is? One. One with a circle around it. Oh, how do you draw a circle on the character generator and a one in it? One is the same as being in the presence of God, the way Brother Lawrence was. One is the same as being on the highest level. One is the same as passing on joy and happiness and thanks and goodness. One is the same as stopping cruelty to animals. One is the same as singing a hymn. Rejoice ye pure in heart. Rejoice, give thanks and sing. Your festal banner raised on high, the cross of Christ your King. Rejoice.
Rejoice. Rejoice, give him thanks and sing. Here's proof positive of what a great God we have. Look at this. Can you do this? No. Do you know anybody else who can do it? No. All from a seed. In a seed is packed everything to go through this complex process, beautiful process of flower, bud, fruit, taste, shape, color, nutrition. Hi, Bernie. Joe Cronin calling from Long Island. 